Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa. Today I'm going through questions involving if and if, the two scenarios. This, uh, I would say, is one of the commonly asked questions. And uh, today I'm going to show how we can make use of the two scenarios to help us solve the question. Okay, let's take a look at this question first. Beaker A and Beaker B contain some water. If 46.5 milliliters is drained out of Beaker A, the volume of the water in Beaker A will be 60% of the water in Beaker B. If 35.2 milliliters of water is drained out from Beaker B, the volume of the water in Beaker B will be 85% that of the water in Beaker A. What is the total volume of water in beaker A and beaker B? Scenario 1 We can use scenario 1 to identify the relationship between subjects and express in units. What I mean in this case is that we can work out the volume of water in, the, in both beakers, beaker A and B, in terms of units. Why I keep harping on this fact that we need to express in terms of units, we need to identify the relationship so that the two unknown is reduced to 1. Beaker A, I don't know the value of Beaker, the volume of water in Beaker A and B, but that doesn't matter. Because if I'm able to identify the relationship between the volume of water in Beaker A and B and express in units, I only need to have 1 variable or one unknown that is my units to solve. So scenario 2 will help us to solve the units. Let's go back to the question again. So we are told that in scenario 1, after 46.5 milliliters of water is drained out of beaker A, uh, the volume of water in beaker A will be 60% of the water in beaker B. When you see percentage, I will want to call the base 100%. Because if the base beaker B is 100%, A will be 60%. And then reduce it to the simplest form will be 3U is to 5U. This is the volume of water after scenario 1. But remember, these are hypothetical examples or situations that never happen. So what is the original amount of water, a volume of water in both beakers? We have to add back. 46.5 ml to beaker A. Scenario 1, no change has been done or nothing has happened to beaker B, so beaker B will remain as 5 units. You see how I can actually link up the relationship between the two, beaker A and B. The next thing is to solve the units, but how? Let's take a look at scenario 2. So in scenario 2, after the 5.2 milliliters is drained out of beaker B, so we take 5 units, take away 35.2, is equal to 85% that of the water in beaker A. So what is 85% of the water in beaker A? So remember, when we do this, we have to take the two. So 85% of 3U and 85% of 46.5. So that will give us 2.55 units plus 39.525 ml. So you see, we have an equation now. So 5U minus 35.2 is equivalent to your 2.55U plus 39.525. With that, student will know how to continue and solve the units and eventually their total volume of water in the two beakers. So 5U minus 2.55U is equivalent to 39.525 plus 35.2. Work out, this is your 2.45 units is equivalent to 74.725. 1U is 30.5. So the total volume is 8 unit plus 46.5. Okay, remember, it's the original amount of water. You see that they didn't even ask whether is it at first or whether is it in the end because nothing has changed. These are all hypothetical situations. And it, um, 
will work out to be 290.5 milliliters. That is a total volume for, of water in beaker A and B. Of course, students are encouraged to check their work by substituting the answer back into the questions and check their work. That's the end of the presentation. Thank you.